Good evening, brothers and sisters. How are you feeling today? Okay, right? Huh? What are you about? Now we are in a new, we are starting our new week. Now we are in the end of the month of January. No? So, um, it's a good time to start over. Start over with a new month, which, which is the love month. So, uh, recently, the topic aside to me is uh, entitled More Than Conquerors. And the text is found in Romans 8 37. Yet in all things, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through Him who loved us. But I have to ask you to please bow your heads for prayer. Heavenly Father, we come to you this evening, Lord, we like to thank you for being with us throughout the week and now as we are starting a new one, continue to help us and guide us, O Lord. And now, a special way I pray that you would be in the midst of us. You will feel, may you fill us with the Holy Spirit, O Lord, so that our hearts will be recipient of your message. Talk through me, and may they see you not in us. Forgive us all our sins. As I read through the material given to me, I know about so so many. It's a my so many pasabot ani ng material ko. So so many gist niya, thing niya. And I I came through more na tagpo na ko ba ano? Nakita na usa ka mga kaniyang niya ang yung gist para niya main uh, theme. And, Kanisha Kapasuna, this is appetite. Appetite. Sa akong pagbasa ng mga maisunan, nakita na ako nga, nakapamuta na ako sa akong kalimba. Kung saan man, what, what does this word appetite mean? Okay, sa buha, when, when we hear the word appetite, it also directs us directly to Food, but kaon. So, does this refer to food only or so what? And then, the second question I have in my mind is I, this question is for you or for me also. Are we in control of our appetite or does our appetite control us? No, we're going to go to Next! No, we're going to go to the next one. What is the relationship between appetite and self? Self kita. So, so many relational. So, kita na ako sa dictionary mo kasi sudan sa mga appetite. And gingon dito is number one na meaning is the desire for food. So tama ni Edo. Kung naka when it ka when we hear word appetite, kaon yun dahil na ako yung may duman. But the next, uh, the, the next meaning niya is a desire or liking for something. So, dili na di ay appetite is for food, no? Sorry, we have appetite na ang appetite na ito for oh, exercise, no? Ang akong appetite sa pag uh, basa o Bible or sa pa, no? Dagat kayo, uh, dagat siya pwede maano naman because it's your desire or something. And, mga kaysa na, dili na ako nakita naman, there's something interesting. Gita na ako siya sa uh, Hebrew word niya. Ang Hebrew word is nefesh. This means soul, a living being, life, self, person, desire, passion, appetite, and emotion. So murag, sa makita na ito ba? The word itself, no, sa Hebrew, is, is associated with self. Appetite is associated with self. And now, I will be sharing to you three points. No? So, yung ako na akong game one today is loving oneself more than God will destroy one. God's given framework for appetite. No, karami daw. If you, if you love yourself, sa movie daw, sa dahil ang mapapalingan sa iyong appetite, it will destroy God's framework mo sa iyong gipuro mga matter regarding appetite. So, I will give three no's, no? 
no, no mga kibalo. Para may mga na to, how do we check ourselves regarding appetite or regarding ourselves? Number one, know that anyone of us is vulnerable to temptation. So Christian Triumph, page 195, we are tempted to indulge in appetite. And this is a very evident to my boy. So experience the Adam and Eve. Diba? Eve, pag nakita niya sa food, nakikot siya ka, wow. Wow ba yung pagkao? Lamay ka yung pagkao. No? The controlling power of appetite will prove the ruin of thousands when if they had conquered on this point, no? kung diri pa lang sa pagsugod pa lang sa appetite, they would have had moral power to gain victory over every other temptation of Satan. But those are, who are slaves to appetite will fail in perfecting Christian character. The continual transgression of man for 6,000 years has brought sickness, pain, and death as its fruits. And we, and as we hear the close of time, Satan's temptations to indulge an appetite will be more powerful and more difficult to overcome. So, isa din sa mga lisug kayo mga isunod, sinugdanan sa pagkatintal na ito, sa uban ang klase ng mga pagkatintal sa taas. The appetite. Next, everyone will be tempted to kung sa man, presumptuous venturing where God has not led them to. For example, mga isunod, lahat, no? lahat na his family, na yung duman ako sa reading, kaya yung napunta, panatag, o nga, a uh, love was given a chance to choose kung ahas na gusto mo and he chose to live near so doon ang dumura ingon pa sa uh, nagsulat sa ato ang dibusya na ganyan punta na ang iyong mga anak nagtapos sila kaoban si Abraham and they heard every bit of stories no, kanang encouraging words from Abraham but then and then and, and, no, sa hirap ako yung nagtuo siya na kaniging iyong mga anak where, like, aking ko dito nga ka ng tarong. And he even said na he thought that they were, uh, like, their minds were in the right track. But then, he found out, no, dito sa Bible, no, kita na itong mga isula na they were also corrupted. No, sometimes again, huwag kayong matatanga ka na magbukuta ba? No, sa, at sige, pinin na lang ko. No, and, and me, personally, I am guilty of this also. Para mag-una-una, may lakas na gusto na ginawa. Kaya kanya kung gusto buha ito. Kung ano mo na ang ginawa ba? Diba? Ang ginawa ba ay pa-adjust na ito sa tuwa. Third is, everyone will be tempted to worship gods of this world. To sacrifice an eternity of bliss for the fascinating pleasures of this life. No? Murag, guilty kita ni alas lang ba? Kay, murag, nalinaw na ta, sa kung sa'yo nakadali ka lang sa kuka, di ba? And we, like we, ano yung lumo sa balita mga isula, no? I don't know, bro, ang pagka-mention mo, hindi niya, pakabot daw ni Pia, worship ba? Ano sila sa balita, no? He was worshipped. No? I don't worship ito nga, natatap ito sa kong muna muna ba? I don't worship siya, kaya ganun kayo ng idolize sa ilaha. Maybe, para sa ilaha, it was, like, anong worship lang nga, I don't know siya. Pero, but, but if you hear ba, mga pangpaminawan nyo, nyo, it's still the same, I don't worship yan, ano? So, sometimes, kung ano kayo na sa ako, kung parang ba, nasulod na dito ani na, Panahon na, we forget what is the most important thing, which is eternal life. But we do not need to worry. The Word declares that we should not be tempted above our abilities to 
bear it. We may resist and defeat it. This will be full. And this leads me to my next note. Know that we have an edge over our enemy. In the conflict with Satan, the human family has all the help that Christ had. They need not to be overcome. They may be more conquerors through him who has loved them and given his life for them. Unseen agents will be our aid only if we submit ourselves to God and forsake our idols and wrong practices. Inward corruption must be overcome. A Christian, Christian education, page 122 and 123. Our great conflict is with unconsecrated self. In the councils and stewards. When we conquer self, we are more than conquerors through Him, through God, who has loved us. Therefore, brethren, there is eternal life for us to win. So, so that, we should not be caught up with what we have right now. Now, this is a good reminder for us. Okay, sa hai, ang pagkanker na to, glisod na, sa pagkanker sa ourselves. We are so caught up with what we have right now. And this leads me to my third note. Know that our life here on earth is a reflection of our life in heaven. The life worth, the life, life worth given to us is that of preparation for eternal life. And if we accomplish this work as God has designed that we should, every temptation will work for our Samson. He was a conqueror. But was that the will of God? Was that the design for, that God has made for him? I think not. Ano man? I think God would not, would not think of a design for a, a, a plan for Samson's life. Kamakamtay siya. In order for him to be a conqueror. But because of his choices, the choices he made na detour sa mga kaisunan. But in the end, he fulfilled what God had prophesied for him. He was a conqueror, but he lost his life. I also remember the story of Joseph. Diba? Because he said no to the temptation. Nung sumali, madali ha? We can use these temptations to our advantage. Although we don't have to do it, we don't have to do it. But in the end, in the long run, he became Pharaoh of Egypt because he was faithful to God. For as we resist its allurement, we make progress in divine life. So, sa small sa basa kayo din ako, kaya yun ako din na, nga, caught up kayo natin sa world, but our goal is to take a life. And by doing what God has planned for us, we are investing our life into that heavenly home that God has prepared. Eternal life ang invest na tumulong ng sumunod. So, how to be more than a conqueror? Live a life of the Savior. Number two, overcome selfish desires. And number three, fulfilling bravely and cheerfully, cheerfully our duty to God and to those around us. This will prepare us when we face Christ who has washed us by His blood and who will be waiting for us in His heavenly throne. In conclusion, I will read from Testimonies for the Church, Volume 9, page 187 and 188. My brethren, let us put all this selfish appetite aside. 
We have no right to keep our minds safe on ourselves. Our preferences, our fancies, we are not to seek to maintain a peculiar identity of our own. And this statement, statement, a stretch of my So we are not to seek to maintain or maintain a peculiar identity of our own. Would my word 